I'm going to do a rundown of uh, the resources for our Math 110 course. Uh, these are uh, the instructor resources that you'll need to run the course. Um, these are all found at uh, our wiki page. Uh, either the content is hosted there or you can find a link to the content. And it's uh, mat110opensource.pbworks.com. Uh, you can see that up here in the address bar on the top of your screen. Uh, or you can email me. I can send email you the link. Uh, so here's the top of it. But here's our uh, wiki space. Um, at the top, you have a link to uh, just some information that can help you with pacing, work out a daily schedule. Then you have uh, course videos. There are videos that I've pulled that match every lesson. Of course, there's thousands of other videos out there that you're welcome to use as well. Um, just this gives you a good place to start. There's some, more, there's some information on MyOpenMath. I'll talk about that more later. Um, then um, under the extra resource link, uh, there's a copy of the student handbook. And this is something new that I've been working on this summer. Uh, I have gone through and uh, alt texted uh, all of the images uh, and made the document ADA compliant. Um, so this handbook here is the exact same handbook that students can buy for around eight dollars in the uh, school uh, bookstore. Uh, the only difference here is that all the images are alt text since they have a student that's visually impaired. Uh, this is a place that they can go and uh, see, be able to hear descriptions of all the images. Also something neat that you can do now um, with this digital version of the handbook is if you go to review, maybe it's under review, and you click on navigation panel, there is an interactive uh, menu for every topic. And I find this helpful for uh, bouncing around the workbook in class. So, cool little addition for you to keep in mind. So very handy if you have students that are uh, visually impaired. Uh, there's no answer keys on the wiki, so you're welcome to share uh, links to it with your students. Um, there's some information that students don't really care about on here, so I usually copy and paste links over to Blackboard or MyOpenMath or somewhere. Um, the outline here is exactly the same. Didn't make any changes until you get to Unit 5. So if you look down towards the bottom here, you have Unit 5 New Version and Unit 5 Old Version. So the old version is what we had before, and it talks about annuities and loans. Um, I have not had a lot of success teaching annuities and loans uh, the last few semesters, so I've created a new version that basically takes that topic out. So um, you talk about sales tax, discounts, and simple interest. Start out the new finance literacy unit. Then you talk about compound interest. And then before, when we talked about compound interest, we talked about APR and APY. I found that my students struggled with that. So I pulled that topic out and added the topic on the rule of 72 uh, right here in this lesson, and then the last lesson, really optional, um, is a lesson that I pulled from our Math 143 class on investment, and it's a video series uh, with um, a gentleman named Dr. Hungerford talking about investment, and then there's a companion lab that every part of his video, there's some questions for him to ask. So his first video, he talks about the Rule of 72. Um, talks about student debt and medical debt and inflation in the second video, IRAs and 401ks and mutual funds and so on. So that's a that's the last unit now. Um, I think that's everything on the wiki. So let's take a look at uh, my open math quickly. 
So this is the course shell for MyOpenMath. Um, there are instructions here on how to copy the course shell. Um, or you can email me or contact me and I'll be happy to help you. Um, you know, MyOpenMath is a free uh, open source version of uh, Alex or my Math Lab or your online assessment tools uh, online platform. Um, everything is the same. I uh, did add a probability uh, assessment here for unit one. Um, and then here you see old version of financial literacy unit five and then the new version. The new version is turned on, the old version is turned off. Um, and then this would match the kinds of questions that uh, you would see in our new finance section. And again, your two attempts, it says the homework, so they can have, you get two attempts, then you get a new question, and uh, it keeps giving you new questions until a student gets it right. So no reason to, um, no reason for a student not to get it. Uh, I think that's the highlights of everything. Uh, our shell is still set up by unit and not by lesson or by week. Um, I know that several of us have uh, parted this out in different ways to work better for how our class is formatted. And I even have, I taught this online and um, broke the class up week by week. Um, so if that's something you're looking for, something you're interested in, um, I'd be happy to share my online course with you or you can ask around and I'm sure other instructors would be happy to help too. Uh, so I think that's the highlights and uh, I'll talk to you later.